Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Mother of Karma, and I'm actually back with a quick read. Hold on. I don't know why, I just had to crack my back. But anyways, um, I hope you guys are having a grand morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. Um, and this one's actually going to be a quick little tidbit talk. Um, y'all, I just want to say, we need to start, you know, understanding the energies of gossip, Okay. And I'm here to go ahead and tell you guys this. I'm, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my experiences and the things that I go through and um, how to analyze them and stuff like that. Um, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning into my channel, spending your time with me. You know, if you're here in the light, so would it be. If you're here in the dark energy, fuck off and fuck you and I'm going to just let it be. Uh, but, you know, I will say that there's a difference of knowing when to be in the light energy and when to be in the dark and being able to balance yourself and be in both but also using them for good intention purposes, okay? Um, don't sit here and lie to yourself and say that, you know, you're in the dark energy, but you're being a good person because you're not, all right? <laughs> I mean, I ain't want to tell you who, who the fuck you are and this, this, and that, but um, some people resonate in the dark energies just to, you know, cause ill intent and send negative thoughts and stuff like that. And it's really all about intention and only, you know, God can really know um, your intentions and... People who are very, very spiritually gifted <clears throat> and understand, you know, your vibe and understand your energies and stuff like that. So enough of that. Um, I want to start off by saying um, ever since I was a child, all right, I moved around a lot and being a military brat. And I realized that no matter what school I went to, no matter where I went. There were always, like, as soon as, and I was always the new kid, so it was very strange, these are going to piss me off, so it was very strange that, um, people would, you know, naturally dislike me or be talking about me on this, my second day of fucking school, better yet, my first day of school and giving, like, the evil eye and shit like that, when I knew, you know, I didn't talk to nobody or anything like that, like, I was a very, I'm a very person that's going to sit back and observe a situation before I even speak or analyze or say anything so you know i would go to like and this has happened at every school so literally on my first day of school i wouldn't i would sit by myself at lunch and stuff like that but literally on the next day <laughs> there's a new person you know coming up to me that would tell me oh this is this person's talking about you this person's saying this is not and i'm just like okay that's cool don't know how it's true because i never just talked to them or spoken a word to them so it's not true all right um but my, my lesson here is we, we need to start realizing that when people that we don't even know of or people that we used to associate with have nothing to say about us except for negative slander, defamation, um, you know, just making up shit and to, to throw on your name, it means that they see um, a gift in you that they don't they don't have possess or have within themselves, okay? They don't have integrity, they don't have morals, they don't have the ability to admit their wrongs and their rights and their faults and their strives, okay? They just simply don't possess that type of hierarchy energy. And, um, you know, it, it's part of moving into a higher level of consciousness as well, but it it, it is simply true that not everybody is, you know, going to make it that far or be able to resonate at such a frequency. Every thought, every every action, every, you know, sentence that we say is of a frequency and people need to start realizing that. Now, um, I would also say that when somebody is just, you know, working with friends, working with past friends that you don't even talk to, working with family that you cut off, working with people that you don't even like truly care for or give a fuck about, um, you, you got to start you gotta start um, realizing that, you know, they're just not for you, okay? And when these people continue to do anything and everything that they can to drag your name down or paint this false picture of you to somebody in order to keep them from coming towards you, you gotta realize that these people are obsessed. They're obsessed with you, baby. And they're obsessed because you're so motherfucking great. You're so motherfucking awesome. You're so motherfucking beautiful. And you're so motherfucking sexy. Okay. And that's just the motherfucking truth. And when you're stable by yourself and you build your own for yourself and you know, you work for yourself and you can provide for yourself and you love your motherfucking self. I'm getting hot. Um, these type of people don't know what to do. They they lose their minds. They go rabid. They go insane. And the only thing they can think about is dragging your name, okay? And 
I just love how that rhymed. Ooh. Um, but you know, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, okay, damn, can you get a life? And the only thing you can wish or do for them is literally pray and wish for them to have a better life. And, um, but also at the same time, wish these motherfuckers to get out your motherfucking energy, okay? Stop, like, you know, if they pop up into your dreams, if they, you know, send you telepathic thoughts or they send, send you telepathic messages or anything like that, rebuke it, banish it in the name of Jesus Christ, amen, because these people are, you know, not allowed to resonate in your energy. And the more that you continue to do that, the more your ancestors and, the, and your spirit guides can, um, move forward in removing them out of your life completely for the righteous reasons, okay? Um... Now, that was kind of my tidbit talk. I'm already at five minutes. Um, I just kind of wanted this to be a little short, a little sweet to the point. Um, yeah, I just feel like somebody needed to hear this. And definitely know the more your confidence is up, the more these motherfuckers are going to like try to come at you, try to come around you, try to infiltrate your space, infiltrate your energy. And it's just more so like... And it can even go to the extent of people being like, oh, you need to watch your money around this person or oh, you need to do this, this, and this, and this around this person. But little do you know, these motherfuckers were stealing from you when they were around you and your motherfucking energy. So it's like, why would I steal from somebody when I got my own shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, what's wrong with building with the motherfucker these days? I don't know what the fuck people be on, but that's just a message I'm getting there. And, you know, other readers have been picking up on this and it made me, and I had wrote down my download on this message earlier today. And the fact that I watched when my readers touch on this a little bit, I was just like, damn, all right, spirit, I'm going to get on this bitch and go ahead and get the message too, because it's just like more collective, powerful energy, you know, getting people to uh, move into the right ways, getting people to move into the right ways of thinking for themselves and within themselves. And, um, I will say, like, if you've noticed, like, a repetitive action of somebody, like, you know, coming back into your life, trying to conversate, trying to attach their energy to you, you know, just wanting to talk to you and just be friends. But when you guys talk, it's of nothing of substance. I can't stand this shit. Like, so many people come back and they don't want to talk about anything that's of substance. Like, how do you expect to get anywhere with me? Especially because I don't like talking to people that are just small talk, you know? I don't like have, being talking like that. Oh, yeah, girl, you got it. This isn't, like, no... Like, no, I'm sorry, but that's just small talk. Like, I just can't do it. Like, let, 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 let's have conversation, okay? Um, let's talk about things that are of substance. Let's be able to build together. Let's be able to construct together. Let's be able to, I don't know, manage life together. Let's be able to, you know, and not necessarily saying being with that person, but let's be able to manage something together. Let's be productive in some sort of way. At this point in my life, I, I'm really just only here for business partners. <laughs> I'm really only here for business partners. And, um... Oh, that goes into another thing. You know, really connecting with people that are worth a damn. Um, and I'm not saying, you know, people are worthless, this and that. But some people really think of themselves like that and keep themselves in that energy toward that is what they become, okay? And it's not your responsibility to uh, wake these people up every single moment that you get. But you can only do what you can from where you're at, okay? And that is being by yourself, being in your hermit mode and sharing the messages, all right? Um... Also, another thing that I've realized is <laughs> I cannot express how bad people have tried to say, oh, you're a hoe. Oh, you're a prostitute. Oh, you're this, this, and that. Like, I wish a motherfucker would. I don't have no motherfucking history of prostitution on my motherfucking name, okay? Um, and I will never sell myself to the pole. I will never sell myself for a fucking dollar okay i would never i would just i just fucking would never and that is what people you know i think really hate me for and um you know because i'm saying because it's like when you work for yourself and you provide for yourself you can buy your own you can buy your own everything so you don't need to do anything for money and i think that's what a lot of people fail to realize as well like um, you guys do know that money is a man-made construct, uh, object. It is fucking paper with fibers mixed, with cotton fibers mixed together and printed out, okay? It, it's just, I don't know. I'm just at this point where, like, damn, I really wish people would realize that, but, um, and we as people are the only people that have the motherfucking power to change this type of system that we live in so that people can stop dragging themselves in the motherfucking mud to make it out the mud in order to make a dollar, make make a couple hundred dollars. And the thing is, it's like people also don't realize the as like when it comes to like selling drugs and stuff like that, it's like, do you guys realize as fast as you get that money is as fast as it's going to go away? 
So how about saying fuck all that shit and building yourself some true stability anyways? So I just want you guys to pray for the people who are not on this level of consciousness. May we collectively continue to raise the vibrations of earth and wake up, you know, other people from distant okay it's not really good for other people to be oh my god yeah as i was just about to say that my head started pounding a little bit like a very sharp pain right here in my head um which is my right side creative side spirit side connecting saying that shit's true all right it's not really your job to uh, i won't say your job because your job is whatever you feel you're called to do in life but it's not really you know your position to fuck it it's not really your job or your position to be going out here in order to um physically you know tell people about these things but damn sure get the message from where you're at you know what i'm saying do your job that way um yeah do your motherfucking job that way if you um, this is like if you find yourself as being a spiritual spiritualist or something like that um but when you're of such a high frequency a lot of people are going to want to attach to you and it's very important for you to you know, work within, work from where you're at and not allow people of low vibrations to attach themselves to you or be in your energy for longer, literally longer than 10 minutes because um, they become addicted, they become obsessive, they become um, parasites, they become like energy vampires and you don't want that type of energy to be, you know, around you all the time because it's going to suck and suck and suck your energy from you and not and it's not going to replenish your energy either because you know what i'm saying these people can't really keep i don't know i just feel like when you're on a certain vibration certain people can't um keep up with your intellect so the conversations become dry the the vibe becomes dry okay um chilling is no longer like a fun thing to do i don't know how to explain it but chilling is literally just sitting on the couch watching that it's like netflix and chill like a lot of people think that shit's cute and think that shit's cool and think that shit's fun and it's really not. It's really just draining your mental your mental health and your mental capacity um, in order for you to house and store crucial information, okay? Um, and like the app TikTok, I, mean, I have a download on my phone and it's so weird because this app will send like little notifications as soon as I think about shit sometimes and um, I deleted it because it's it, yeah it's an advertising market or advertising tool but in reality it's really teaching people to have the motherfucking attention span of a motherfucking squirrel and it's just like non-educational i guess because you i don't know i just find the app to be a little non-educational a little lot so yeah um but anyways getting back into the point I want you guys to know that if somebody's talking shit about you, it's because they want to be you, period, okay? Um, and if they're talking shit about you and the shit's true, all right, don't run from the truth. Um, admit your faults. Admit that that's what you've been through. That, admit that that's what has happened. Um, and, you know, to me, it's like once you expose your own motherfucking what people call secrets, which are more, which are actually life lessons, okay? Um, these are experiences once you have lived through. Don't don't house them in and keep them a secret because that is built up guilt, that is built up fear, that is built up um a, a dark 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 vibrational energy that resides within you. Okay, I am an open book at this point in my life, and I'm really just kind of like I've realized today. This was another thing that I wrote down earlier today when I wrote down this talk. Um, so I guess we're gonna mis mash it up. Um, you know, secrets are labeled as that word because people want to keep knowledge hidden okay um secrets are actually lessons that you have you know and, uh, from life experiences in which you have lived through and been through and once you are able to literally speak the truth on your life lessons and the experiences that you've been through people can't use them against you people can't say oh you have you have secrets or oh you're so secretive this is not bitch i ain't secretive i'm motherfucking mysterious and that's why I can analyze my life and my situations and my experiences um, and speak about them, which are, you know, that, that's what becomes a mystery is hidden knowledge and shit like that. So people really, that sounded very kind of, kind of contradictive, but a lot of things in life are contradictive, y'all. It's just about, you know, a matter of you pondering on it and trying to fully understand it. Um, there's yin and yang and together they create a balance, okay? White and black and together they are. Whole, all right and um 
yeah, that's just the truth. Oh, also, yeah, life experiences are lessons. Don't think or feel ashamed about these type of things or the things that you have been through because you need to really analyze the situation and meditate on, you know, why this or that has happened in your life in order to give you the fuller scope or bigger picture of a lesson, all right? And I'm going to leave it there. I hope you all have a great, grand morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. Much love to you. All this and that. Please feel free to leave a comment below. I did fix that. And um, my email is in the description box below if you're feeling chatty or want something analyzed or you like a reading. Um, also, I have a dope-ass prayer in my description box that you should check out. Ezekiel 25 is 2517 is fire. And there is a good um, extra prayer that I type myself in there. And also my donation information is in the description box if you're feeling froggy or generous. Um, by all means, you don't have to. But I just know that people that do donate to my channel are guided here for a reason. And so shall they donate to me. They will be blessed eternally. Um, I don't know why I feel this way about that. But I just know that they will because they just will. Okay, I create my own money and I create my own abundance. And... You know, I don't need anybody to donate to me, but if you're actually feeling that, like, that top dog, like, that top bitch, okay, damn, I just got, like, like damn, daddy, like, damn, mommy type of energy to you because you're fucking fire, bitch, okay, and, you know, it's just energy I exchanged, and, um, likes too, like, comment, subscribe, um, doesn't even have to be about money, doesn't even have to be the man-made shit at all, um, like, comment, and subscribe, personally mean a, a lot more to me than money. So yeah, hope you all have a good one. Bye.